Hello everybody! How are we doing? I am good. Just excited for dinner. I hope you guys are too. This is gonna be super easy, super simple, and hopefully your kids will love it. Bree, we got a sneaky attack coming. <laughs> My cats are just always out of control. <laughs> but hopefully your kids will love it. My kids do, and I love it too. Um, so that always helps having having the kids love it too. Hello, Heather. How are you? Hello, Paul. You made it on time. Hello, Roxy. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are all well. Doing good. Excited for the weekend. Warm weather and stuff like that. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Daisy. Thank you. Hello, Brent. It has been a while. Hi, Dad. Hi, Natalie. Working hard at the hospital. Hi, Deb. I am good, Heather. Doing well. Busy, busy. We had a fence put in outside for our dogs, so that's exciting. They get to roam free now, and we don't have to worry about them. Thank you, Rose. You are so sweet. Thank you, guys. I had a work meeting with for Pampered Chef today. I had to meet with one of my um, future hosts, so give her some brochures and stuff like that. So we went out to lunch and met. Had a good time. Hello, Charity and Shannon. How are you guys doing? Hello, T. Hello, Ashley. Just getting this video shared. You guys know me. I go through my run sharing this. Please share it as well. 40, 80, and 120 live views. We do giveaways at the end of the show. You have to stick it out through the show to get entered into the giveaway. We are gonna make something super quick and simple. Hello, Thelma. Thank you, Eileen, you are sweet. I know you guys, I'm just a completely different person when I put myself together during the day. Just living the dream. I'm gonna go to Bismarck this weekend and celebrate my two year wedding anniversary and that should be fun. Get a break away from the kiddos for a little bit is always a good time. All right, you guys, last couple of shares and then we will get going. This food is gonna be super easy today. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. I think I just shared that video into the same group twice. Hopefully I don't get kicked out for doing that. I, I never oh, mean oh. to. <laughs> Ooh, but I sneak attack. I just read the comments. God, the cat is always up to no good. We're yeah. trying to train him with a water bottle and he is starting to just love water. So, it's not working out too well. All right, here we go. So, you guys need some shredded or diced chicken for this recipe. You can do a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, um, or you can do what I did, and what I did is I took some chicken breasts, put them into my pressure cooker with a cup of either water or chicken broth, and you pressure cook them for 10 minutes. I'm excited, Sandy. We haven't been there um, in a while, so it will be nice to go there and hang out for a little bit. Hello, Carissa. Hello, Tori. Jason, my whole team is here. You guys feel free to share this video into your block parties that you have going on right now. We're going to talk about a couple of really awesome items from Pampered Chef, some of them that come in the consultant kit, some of them that you can just buy at your block parties that you are in. Hello, Mike. How are you? Come, happy anniversary, Crystal. 26 years, I can't wait till we get up to that. Hello, Daisy Joe from work. T saw the cat on the counter. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Ashley. All right, you guys. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Hello, Teresa and Gigi. We are going to get started. This recipe is super easy, super simple. Like I said, I just cooked some chicken in the pressure cooker um, for chicken breasts with a cup of chicken broth. You can use water if you don't have chicken broth or you don't want that extra sodium in there. I'm just releasing the pressure from the pressure cooker. Um, our oven should be preheated to 350. Yes, Eileen, thank you for making it. Hello, Stephanie and Teresa. Thank you guys all for making it. All right, so what we're going to get started doing is we are in our large pan. We are going to combine our milk, our sour cream, our rotel, our block of um, our block of cheese, 
and our taco seasoning. It says a cup of soup, and I took that out. I've never done this recipe with soup, and the recipe I found had like cream of chicken soup or something, and I took that out. So ignore that part of the recipe, because this is how I know how to make this. Um, there's a bunch of recipes out there. Um, actually, Paul, one of my viewers, sent me his family's recipe book, and it actually had a recipe in it that's similar to this one that made me think of it, um, but my friend Brie actually is who I learned this recipe from. So, hello, Morgan, how are you? So in a large pan, we're gonna add in our half a cup of milk. You guys, I love these measuring cups, and I'm so, so sad that they are out of stock right now on our website, but they should be back early July. So if you have um, a party right now, just make sure you hit up those hosts that are going to be hosting in July. I've got a couple scheduled so that you guys can get those. Um, if you have a friend that books after you, you can get them for half off. All right, half a cup of milk. Then we want two-thirds of a cup of sour cream. And I'm going to be using my measure all measuring cup. This is the best measuring cup, you guys, for things like for things like peanut butter, sour cream, uh, syrup, anything sticky, ooey gooey, mayonnaise, or anything like that. You stick it in this measuring cup and then it is the easiest to get back, at, back out of the measuring cup. Highly, highly recommend it. Hello, Brittany, thank you. Feeling fresh today, you guys, with my hair all done up. So I'm just gonna do two thirds of a cup of sour cream. What this is gonna do is it's gonna make your cheese nice and creamy when you melt everything together. So here's how this measuring cup works. It is the slickest thing. You just turn it over and push this down and out comes your sour cream or your peanut butter or whatever you're measuring and then it clears out all the sides. There's nothing left behind. You're not trying to scrape it back out. All of this stuff is Pampered Chef items, you guys. You can buy them on my link that's in the description of this video. If you click on my, my face, the description should pop up. Scroll to the bottom and my link is there. I also have a couple of parties open right now if you want to support a host and help them get to their reward goals. Or if you want to host a party yourself, just send me a message and we can get you stuff like this for free or half off when you host a party. Super, super awesome. Yes, Daisy Sour Cream, Daisy Joe. Got your measure all cup and it took me a good 10 minutes to figure out how to open it. That's hilarious, Alice. Hello, Patrick, how are you? I'm excited for this recipe, you guys. It is one of my favorites. Um, we're gonna do a can of Rotel, which is just those tomatoes with green peppers. I'm gonna be using my Pampered Chef um, can opener today, you guys. It looks like this. You just stick it right here on the side. You just spin it to tighten it. It tightens onto it, and then just easy one-handed, just easy one-handed spinning around the edge of the can. Super, super easy, you guys. Love this. It hangs onto it nice and tight. You're not having to struggle with it. It's not popping off. You don't have to worry about a magnet attachment or anything like that. Then you just spin it back the opposite direction. Boom, it's off. Then you have this little easy little beak right here, grabs the edge of the can that isn't sharp by any means so you can grab it with your fingers and not worry about it at all, will not hurt your fingers. Pour in your can of Rotel. If you want to, you can do two cans of Rotel um, or you can also do a can of Rotel with a small can of the green chilies to add a little bit more of a zing in there. Measuring cup, Kevin, is Pampered Chef. It is a Pampered Chef measuring cup. That's where you can get it, is through my link on Pampered Chef. I am gonna add in a small can of green chilies to my recipe. Hello, Lori, hello, Tony, how are you? Here we go, just add in a couple of green chilies. You guys, this is the easiest can opener ever. Super fun and easy to use. Kiddos can use it, you won't have to worry about them cutting themselves on the can, stir that in. Then we are going to add in our taco seasoning. You just want half of a pack of taco seasoning. Yes, Ashley, it is the slickest little can opener ever. Just kind of eyeball it, you guys. Just shake out about half of the packet. Get it nice and stirred in. And then we are going to dice up 
Um, it is the easiest way to melt the Velveeta cheese is to cut it into little um, cubes to help it melt faster instead of just sticking the whole block in there. Um, we're just gonna use about 16 ounces of the cheese. Um, so not the whole block itself. Um, they do have little markers on Velveeta cheese that say four along the side of it so that you can count your ounces out for eight, 12, 16, so almost what is remaining of my block of Velveeta. You can add more cheese or less cheese in my family. The more cheese, the better. So I'm going with the 16 here to melt in with our Rotel. Love the can opener, but I make a mess opening anything with juice or whatever. Oh no, Crystal, splooshing and splashing around. I'm using my Santuco knife, you guys. I love this knife. Um, it has those little, um, I don't even know what to call them, ridges, um, which helps food not stick to it, helps it release off the side. I don't know if you've ever been chopping vegetables and the carrots or whatever get stuck to the side of the knife. That helps it release from it so that you're not struggling to get stuff off of the side of the knife while you're cutting. I'm not sure what, somebody's asking what the wife expects to see of something. Is. What is the life expectancy? What is the life expectancy, Daisy Joe? of what? You know, it's the time delay is a little bit, so we'll wait for Daisy Jo to elaborate a little bit so that I can give her an accurate answer for what she's asking. Hello, everybody. You guys, we have hit 40 live views, which means we will do one giveaway at the end of the show, so stay tuned to get entered in. So we have our cheese in here, and I am just going to pop this onto the stove over medium high heat and let it start to melt. You guys, it's gonna be so good. All right, now, so our chicken is done in our pressure cooker. Daisy Joe, a lot of our products I hear from people who have been using them for years, 10 plus years. They they last the test of time. Um, my friend Bria here, her mom is actually throwing a Pampered Chef party and she has products from 10 years ago that still works and she's just updating them simply because they're just outdated, but they still work. Hello, Alyssa, how are you? Um, so I am going to use these little handy dandy little silicone pot holders to grab the basket out of my pressure cooker. Pull it out like so. Boom. Our little chickens are done in here. So these were just pressure cooked, you guys, for 10 minutes in a cup of chicken broth. They are hot, so I'm just going to try and avoid touching them too much with my hands. Um, I am going to stick them in my batter bowl. And now we are going to do this awesome trick with these they're actually um lettuce shredders but they are perfect for chicken you guys awesome 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 for chicken yes you guys this recipe is going to be so good so we're just getting our chicken ready so you're just going to go like this you guys and just cut right into the bowl the salad choppers you guys are life changing just like carissa said they are life changing 15 plus years old, you guys. These products really do stand the test of time. Um, even if you only cook a little bit or you cook every day, three times a day, your products will stand the test of time. Just come through, you guys, super easy to do. Just slicing right through my chicken. No fork and, uh, fork, two fork tricks or the fork and knife to try and cut up your chicken. Super, super awesome. <laughs> Sarah, the, the meat shredder claws are awesome too. They work really, really well. Super handy, you guys. Just cut through all the bits of chicken. Trying to get down to those chicken breasts that are down there on the bottom. You can um, either dice it up or shred up your chicken, whatever you prefer. I like it all shredded up so that my kids don't really know that the chicken is there in this recipe. Yes, Eileen. Um, um, I don't know if your order is still open, Eileen. I think we closed your order. 
Um, but we can add them to another party that's open right now. Get you some salad choppers because they are the best. All right, I think we are all chopped up and good to go. Just gonna toss it. Yep, there it is. I knew there was gonna be one little chicken there in the bottom that didn't wanna be chopped up just yet, but super easy, you guys. Way easier than two fork shredding. You don't have to get your hands all hot and messy. What did I used to do? Fork and fork. The claws. So there are these um, claw shredders. They look just like this, like, um, what's that? X-Men guy. <laughs> But you yeah. go like this and you shred Wolverine. them apart with these claws. You Looks hold like, on to them. Yeah, Wolverine. Wolverine. And that's what it's like, like Wolverine claws. And you sit there and you can shred um, a brisket, a pork roast or whatever in your crock pot, um, on your cutting board, and you just sit there and you shred it with these claws or what they are. Yes, Eileen, we did close out Rory's party, so we'll have to add you to another party that's open if you want those scissors. All right, so our chicken is ready. One other little small piece in here. All right, now we're gonna add our chicken to our Rotel and cheese mixture over here. Turn you guys again, move this lid so you guys can see me. Add the chicken in. Use my, my little Spatula, you guys, this is the handiest spatula from Pampered Chef. It's got kind of a bevel on it that helps you scoop and scrape the sides of your bowl while you're, while you're working. Yes, Crystal, I do like using my hand mixer, but um, it has a tendency to fling chicken everywhere, so I try to avoid it. Sometimes when I know that the, the meat is really wet and moist, then I don't like to spray chicken all over my kitchen. Yes, you guys, so those those salad choppers, um, salad night scissors are the best for that. Yep, Crystal, I have done it, but like I said, it just flings it everywhere. The meat chopper to shred chicken too. Yes, Eileen, you can. You can do all of it in the pot with those shredders. Ooh, already making a mess. All right. So we're just gonna melt up this cheese and our Rotel, get it all nice and hot. While we are doing that, we are going to get our pan ready to start prepping to make this yummy. Sorry guys. All right, so you want a nine by 13 pan. It's got a little sour cream in it, but that's okay. 9 by 13 baking pan from Pampered Chef. You guys are, um, these are awesome. They stand the test of time. No matter how how many times you bake in them, you don't need any kind of um, non-stick spray. They scrape off and clean off really, really easy in, um, in the sink. Super easy cleanup, super easy. You don't have to preheat them or anything like that. Um, amazing dishes right here. Somebody asked about the ninja. I know I'm tired of pulling my ninja blender out of the cupboard and I'm ready to sell that thing I did um, thawed chicken so it only took 10 minutes the only difference between um, thawed chicken and frozen chicken in your pressure cooker is the amount of time it takes for the pressure to come up so mine took about five to seven minutes to come up to pressure and then 10 minutes to cook the chicken where if you're using frozen chicken it'll take 15 to 20 minutes to come up to pressure and then 10 minutes to cook so you always have to take that into consideration hello Cassidy how are you you guys the pizza pan that's like this is awesome 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 with pampered chef um, I just love these pans that we have so I'm just gonna open a can of refried beans and we are gonna start our first step in spreading the beans in the bottom of our baking dish. I am gonna just come over here. Free, I don't know if you wanna yeah, stir can, this yeah. while it's melting. Yeah. Put Brie in charge of stirring the Velveeta cheese while it melts on the stove. Yes, you're welcome, Ashley. All right, pull that off, you guys. Love, love, love that. Love that can opener, you guys. So easy, so simple. Here we go. So we just want a can of refried beans. Just dump them all out into 
the bottom of the pan. And we're just gonna spread a nice thin layer on the bottom of the pan. Hello, how are you, you guys, all you newcomers? We are here, we are cooking this Dorito chicken casserole. Um, we've already added our milk, our sour cream, our Rotel tomatoes, our Velveeta, our taco seasoning, and our chicken, and it's all melting together on the stove. Just a nice thin layer, you guys. I got one tip. Huh? One tip. What's your tip? Don't cook when you're melting the Velveeta. Don't do it too high because it just it like black and burns it. Yep. So you always want to be careful, you guys, when you are melting that Velveeta cheese, um, that you want to keep an eye on it. You don't want your pan up too high, or it will scald that cheese, and that is a no-no. So once your pan comes up to temperature, you can lower it back down and just slowly melt that cheese together with the rest of your ingredients. Like I said, when you um. When you dice up that Velveeta, it helps it um, melt faster and smoother than big, big chunks of the Velveeta cheese. So the smaller your blocks, the easier the melting process will be for you. If you don't like Velveeta, switch it out for your favorite shredded cheese. If you like um, shredding your own cheese, we have amazing shredders with Pampered Chef for your cheese graters and stuff like that. So if that's what you prefer, I would say go for it. It's going to be delicious no matter what cheese you prefer, what cheese you use. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of shredded cheese on top of our dish when it's all ready for the oven to give it a nice crispy cheese topping. Got another one. Tip. Another tip from Brie? Yeah. This is her recipe, no. so she's given us all the tips. The cheese chunks don't have to be all the way melted because it still bakes in the oven. Yep, so the cheese chunks, you guys, like she cheese said, if you have a couple cheese chunks that are left that you're really, really fighting, it won't matter. You're going to stick it in the oven, and it's going to melt the rest of the way and get it nice and bubbly and melty in the oven, okay? So everything is already cooked. Your chicken is cooked and everything. So your oven is just to help melt and keep everything together. Oh, no, Sarah. I wonder, did anybody book a party with you? Because you could get it half off at their party. I'll double check, see if anybody booked a party from yours. Hello, Carol. This is the best casserole dish ever. Hello, Jessica. I saw you earlier today. We're ready for that. That's right. All right. And I'm going to use this. You guys are awesome little trivets, our um, pan holders. I had to throw all of my pot holders out because they were melting anytime I put my pan on them. So this is all nice and cheesy and melted together, you guys. Um, yum. Okay. So we're going to start off. We have our beans in our pan, and now we are gonna take some Doritos. My family likes the spicy nacho Doritos. And we're gonna take it, I'm just do a handful at a time, and I just like to break them up and just spread out a nice layer on the refried beans. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm actually gonna switch this out for one of my other Pampered Chef spoons. Here we go. Love these spoons, you guys. They come in a set. There's four of them. Um, all different kinds of serving spoons and um, slotted spoons and stuff like that. Yes, you guys, super yum. All right, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna spread about half of it into this dish. So yummy, cannot wait for this to be done, you guys. And it is technically done. So if you don't wanna wait to stick it in the oven, you don't have to. You can serve yourself up a piece of it right now because everything is cooked, everything is ready to go. Your beans won't be warm, but with this hot chicken over the top of it, it won't really matter. So there we go, about half of this poured in here. And now we're gonna take another handful of Doritos. And you can leave them whole or you can crunch them up. Totally up to you how you want your Doritos to be in here. Ooh, throwing them in. See, throw. Throwing them around. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to order two pounds of this, you guys. It seriously is so oh, okay. yummy. All right, so now we're going to take the rest of our chicken mixture, put it on top of the Doritos. There we go. 
so yummy and delicious. Spread it around. All right. Then, final step, add one last layer of Doritos on top. I like to cover them in cheese. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our Doritos on there. Gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna put some cheese on. Here we go. You guys do me a favor if you want to be entered into the giveaway, make sure you leave a reaction on the post right now because we are about to do the giveaway right when I pop this into the oven. If you don't know how to leave a reaction, it is the smiley face, the heart, the laughing face at the bottom of the page, right here at the bottom of the screen. Wait, let's point down here. <laughs> Just hit a reaction down there to get entered into the giveaway. Yes, you guys, it's gonna be so good. Somebody said to use... Some Cheetos on. Cheetos. Nope, Doritos. Doritos. It's a Dorito casserole. I'm going to put some it. cheese on. So I'm going to do our three cheese Mexican blend. Oh my gosh, Scott. If you could smell it right now, you would be so excited for it to go in the oven too. So I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on top and just grab it and stick it in our oven at 350 for about 30 minutes or until it starts to bubble on the sides. Sometimes it's less than that. Sometimes it doesn't take that long. Remember when you guys open your ovens, make sure you let all the heat release before you bend down and put your dish into the oven. Uh, Dave does want to if it's a pirate bowl cool. that you put on the stove. Not to sound stupid, but I didn't know you could cool on the stove with those. Pyrex bowl that was put on the stove. This right here, you guys, Daisy Joe. This is my um, Pampered Chef. Rock Crock is what it's called, and it's awesome. It comes in the starter kit when you're a consultant. Um, it can go in the microwave, the oven, the stove, uh, grill. It can get hot up to 725 degrees and still be safe. So this is um, Pampered Chef as well, you guys. Everything I used today was Pampered Chef except for my pressure cooker. Yes, you guys, before you start the diet, you've got to make it. Stephanie, if you click on my face and scroll down through the description of this video, my link for Pampered Chef is at the bottom. If you need any help with ordering anything today or want to know what it was called or anything like that, please don't hesitate to send me a message and say, hey, what was that black pan you used or what was that orange spoon you used? Don't feel um, embarrassed or afraid to message me. You're not... Um, not going to bug me at all, you guys. This is my job. This is my full-time job. So don't be shy. We are going to do our giveaway today. We have, I've been watching, we've been over 80 for most of the videos. So we're actually going to do two giveaways today, you guys. You guys did awesome. Um, if you are new here, they are always Pampered Chef giveaways. If you win and you are in a Pampered Chef party right now, please tell me that so that I can give credit where credit is due and I can buy from your host's link. Okay, so don't forget that. Even if I'm not your consultant, but you're in a Pampered Chef party right now, let me know and I will purchase from your host to give them credit, okay? Don't forget that. Nope, it isn't. It is not glass. 30, 35 minutes, Patrick, until it starts to bubble on the side. Yes, Shannon, I broke the screen on mine, so I'm borrowing my husband's until it can get fixed. Yes, Heather, you are going to have to try it. You guys, this recipe is so good. Your kids, I promise, are going to love it. Doritos, cheese, chicken, they are going to love it. Just, um, just if you don't want it too spicy, just make sure you get the Rotel tomatoes that aren't spicy and don't add any more green, um, green peppers in, green chilies in, and it won't be too spicy. <laughs> Mike, just cross those fingers extra hard, and we will see if you win the auto win today. All right, we have 88 people entered into the giveaway. Awesome, 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 you guys. Do awesome. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck. Yes, Melissa, so yummy and delicious, you guys. I will be sure to post a picture, of course. And you guys will be stoked to know that I finally 
finally, finally, finally updated my website with all the most recent recipes except for today's. So I have finally posted on my website, mfhungryboys.com has all of my principal, um, all of my principal recipes. Um, it also has the video included and stuff like that. So go to my website if you need any of, um, any of my recipes to print out. All right, Mike says five and nine. <laughs> five and nine from Mike. Shannon's fighting with him. So let's do, uh, let's do six and nine. Six and nine are going to be our numbers today. Just one more second and we will do our giveaway. Six and nine. Here we go. Ta -da. You guys, I got it better today. I practiced so that we wouldn't hit the hiccup that we hit last time. So we won't be waiting around anxious for who's gonna win. All right, there we go. All right, six and nine. Thank you for loving my floors. I need to print them all off since we got new for the printer, Charity, yes. Yes, I mean, I will start doing the desserts on the weekend, so send me your recipes that you guys want me to make. <laughs> Rose, thank you. I am, um, I am a mom of kids, so I know how to uh, get the best of both worlds in agreement on stuff. All right. Here we go. Do our giveaway. Six and nine. Page is just loading and then we will go. Good luck everybody. Six and nine. Monster cookies charity. I don't know if I've made them on my show. I've definitely made them recently, but I can always make them on the show. My dad is a huge fan of monster cookies, so if I make them, I'll have to send them to him. Yes, Elaine, I do have um, brochures that I can send you catalogs, or they also have their virtual catalogs now that you can look at stuff. Um, just let me know, Elaine Roberts. Send me a message and I can get you hooked up with the right information that you need or feel most comfortable with when it comes to viewing things. All right, so six and nine. Number one, Deborah. Number two, Number two, <laughs> sorry guys, Tori, number three, Angela, number four, Lacey, number five, Daisy Joe, number six, our first winner, Kayla Kuchle, Kayla, you are our first winner. Send me a message with your name, your email, your phone number, and your shipping information, and I will get something sent off to you from Pampered Chef. Number seven, remember, keep in mind, you guys, we are experiencing um, a little bit of a delay in shipment, but it will come, I promise you. Number eight, and number nine, Jennifer Dent. Jennifer Dent, congratulations. You are our second winner of the night. Send me your, your, your shipping information, your email, your phone number, and I will get something sent off to you through Pampered Chef. You guys, again, remind me if you are in a block party right now and you have a host, let me know so that I can purchase from that host and support them in their venture on Pampered Chef. You guys have been awesome today. I will post a picture when we are all done. It is in the oven now. Let's take a little peek at it. Oh, yummy, yummy. Smells so good, you guys. Cannot wait. Have an awesome rest of your day. Um, it is Thursday, so I am celebrating my anniversary this weekend, but I will probably pop on with a recipe maybe tomorrow night. Maybe we'll make some dessert tomorrow night. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.